Maybe the resurrection isn't different than the cross. In fact, maybe the cross isn't even complete without the resurrection. Paul said to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 15, if Christ be not risen from the dead, you are still in your sins. So maybe the resurrection is an event that happened on the timeline of humanity in our past, but it's never going to happen again because Jesus isn't going to die twice, therefore Jesus isn't going to be resurrected twice. And if he died for sins before, sins during, and sins after, maybe he raised for those dead, those dying, and those who will die. Are we on at least the right track, it seems like? So that whenever you entered into his death, which by the way had already happened whether you like it or not, then you entering into his resurrection is a resurrection that has already happened in God whether you receive it or not. That's a good foundation today. It's not a whole sermon. It's just a snippet. It just gets us thinking in the direction towards a resurrection that might not need to be pinned on a calendar way out in the eternal future for physical or spiritual bodies, but might be as real as the cross is to you right now. Is the cross real to you right now? I propose that the message of the early church is the resurrection should be as real to you right now as the cross of Jesus Christ is to you right now, real in its scope and its relevance and its work. What the cross has done in you, likewise the resurrection has done in you. What has happened to you spiritually at Calvary has happened to you spiritually in the resurrection, and that is something you have, but you may not have attained. And we want to know what it looks like to attain it. So Jesus shows up at Lazarus' tomb. Lazarus has been dead for four days, and Jesus intentionally waited four days, though he had every available opportunity to get there sooner. Because John 11 is an object lesson. It's really a lived parable. There's a story happening inside of the story. It is not simply that Jesus shows up late to his friend's sickness. It is that Jesus comes to show us something about resurrection that he doesn't show us in any other passage. When he heals Jairus' daughter, 12-year-old girl, and he raises her from the dead, he gives no message on resurrection. When he touches the casket of the widow's son at Nain as the funeral procession walks by and Jesus brushes his hand against the casket and the boy sets up and begins to talk, Jesus gives no theology of resurrection. But whenever he goes to Lazarus' tomb, he gives us his longest treatise on resurrection and 